Hello there, this is Tommy Olsen from Amorphis and you are watching Loud TV. Um, this album, it's, it's not a... Uh, there's no big theme behind the lyrics. Uh, I think the guy who wrote the lyrics, Pekka Kainulainen, I think uh, the main inspiration or the reason was uh, the situation in the world nowadays. Um, he thinks we are living in dangerous times at the moment. Uh, all kind of bad things happen around and uh, I think that's the inspiration for, for the lyrics. But it's not a concept album, it's more like uh, small stories um, in, a, in, a, in a bigger picture. But a title comes from, from one song and uh, I think uh, living under the red cloud means that we are living under threes or something like this, something big might happen in the next near future and uh, something really bad might happen. Um, I don't know, it's a really powerful color of course, red, and uh, if you uh, watch the uh, cover, there's lots of red on there also, and uh, I think red is color of blood of course, for me red is also color of passion, kind of, and um, I think it's not typical heavy metal album if you, if you see the cover, and uh, I'm really proud that we made this beautiful cover with, uh, with, with this artist. It is. Mm, I think it was Esa's idea to ask Valer if he wants to work with us. And uh, of course we checked some covers he had done before for band, for example, Watain or Behemoth or Paradise Lost. And we really liked the style that he's doing. And uh, we had some like main ideas. Uh, the ideas came from the lyrics. We wanted to have like four elements on the cover and we also wanted to have a red cloud somewhere of course and uh, also wanted to have something really powerful on the center. Uh, but of course we wanted to give like free hands for, for him because he's an artist and of course he has some ideas what he wants to bring and uh, it was really fun to work with him of course we had own, uh, our own opinions about the arts, but still it was really uh, interesting and easy to work with him. But I, I think uh, the style of the cover and, and uh, lots of red, I think this came from, from, from him. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's a little bit heavier album than, for example, Circle. And, uh, but that wasn't the case when we started to compose material. We didn't have any plans like, let's do really heavy metal album this time. Um, and uh, yes, when we started to compose and when we started to um, send ideas um, we didn't have any like major idea behind of the album, we just composed music. And um, I think we have to thank Jens Bulgren who was producing this album. He wanted to have a really heavy album. I think we had like maybe 16 or 17 songs when we started. And uh, he came to Finland to do some pre-production pre and we worked uh, six days in Helsinki. And uh, we played the songs and we talk about the songs with Jens and he had lots of ideas. He wanted to work with the tempos, he wanted to uh, put a little bit more tempos there. 
and uh, also he did some arrangements, of course. And uh, yeah, it was interesting because this time, I think this was the first time that we really did pre-production for uh, someone outside band. And that's what we really wanted to do. And it was really great idea and really great choice to have a Jens Bogren. That was like a dream come true in a way for us. Yeah, nowadays it's not that easy to have him because he's mainly mixing. Nowadays he's, he's doing lots of mix, mixing around the year and maybe only producing maybe two or three bands in a year. So we were really lucky that we had him. And uh, of course he's really professional and he's really into what he's doing, but still he's, he's a great guy and uh, he also has a great sense of humor which is really important, of course, if you have to work many weeks with a producer. It's really good to get along. Yeah, it was really, really fun to work with him. I think he used to play in a band and he, he played guitar, I think. And I was a little bit um, not worried, but I was just thinking before we started to record that uh, does he know anything about singing? <laughs> but I was so wrong because he really knows, uh, he really gave great advices and opinions and uh, I think we found a great rhythm in the studio. I mean, sometimes if you are singing like an hour in a row, after that you are really exhausted. But with Jens it was like really intense 15 minutes and then a break. And after that, again, 15 minutes, really intense, and then break. And that's great, I think, because sometimes uh, if you are working too many hours in a row, you get kind of deaf, you don't know anything, and it's really also, it's also really hard for your voice. But uh, this method was really, it was nice and uh, not easy, but comfortable. Okay. I think there's maybe two or three songs we haven't played before um, and we I can't remember how many shows we have played these Tales from the Thousand Lake shows uh, maybe 10 or 15, I don't know, but it, it's been fun every time and uh, during the summer we can uh, play a couple of those uh, shows also and after that there's gonna be this new record, record and after that we're gonna play uh, shows in Finland and after that the big European tour with Nightwish and Arch Enemy, which is really awesome for us. Yeah, it's, it's a big, big thing for us because uh, normally if we do headline show, uh, tours in, in Europe, we're gonna play mainly in, uh, in venues or clubs, uh, but with Nightwish we're gonna play in arenas, so there's gonna be thousands and thousands of new fans, I hope. And uh, of course it's a big challenge because uh, most of the people, of course, are coming to the shows because of the Nightwish. But um, I just hope that people who are coming to see our show, if they don't know anything about Amorphis, uh, I hope that they will give us a chance and uh, maybe they find something interesting. Mm -hmm. 